Hi, I'm Katya from Birchbox here at our sample stop at Fashion Week with Alan Ruiz, the global style director from Aveda, and he's at Fashion Week doing incredible shows like Michael Kors, Christian Seriano, Betsy Johnson, and he's going to show us a great look today from Kimberly Oven. So check out the look. All right, so what we're doing, Katya, is I'm going to create a look for you today that we did at the Kimberly Orbit show. And it's a really cool look. It's going to be sort of urban meets tribal natural bohemian look. So in the front we're gonna go totally slick and slick back here and then we're gonna move into two braids in the back and then we're gonna intertwine them and it's gonna create a really cool texture that's all natural and earthy. We're gonna start out by basically taking a section on the top of your head and we're gonna turn this away and we're gonna deal with this later. I'm gonna deal with this whole hairstyle in three separate sections. So this being one, then split these two in half and then this in another, and then this in another. So I'm going to start out by sectioning the hair here. And we're going to use some Control Force hairspray by Aveda, which is a stronghold hairspray, but it's still a brushable hairspray. So we're going to use quite a bit, and just doing a constant layer of it. So just a little line, and take another section. We're going to comb that into that. Every time you're combing, it's actually holding the hair in place. So once you've got that in there, one side. I'm going to go through and just use a clip. And then we're going to start doing a little bit of a braid into here. It's actually one of the easiest braids to do. It's a fish bone braid. It's basically, I call it a two stranded braid. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take from the outside, add to the center, take from the outside, add to the center. I've got two strands. So you can continue all the way down. And all I'm going to do now is just to finish this off, I'm going to use my comb and I'm going to grab the hair, hold it nice and loose on the ends. I'm going to push and then I'm going to twist the end and I'm going to push again. And what this is doing is basically just creating a little bit of a back comb that holds that in place. Okay. So this is one of the braids you're going to have, and then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Basically, same exact technique we did on the side. So we're going to spray and then add. As I comb through each section, I'm basically adding it another layer of hairspray, which everything starts to stick to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a little more hairspray and then I'm going to change for my comb to using my brush. And the reason why I'm going to use the brush is just I want to get a nice, slick, more tension finish on my hair. I'm going to combine the sides now with the top and now it all looks like one continuous section. Where we're going to basically take the braids apart and combine the center section with the rest. This isn't the end result, this is a part to it. So I use a technique I call thumbs knuckles. So basically putting your thumbs together, spreading the hair out, and hitting your knuckles. And don't be scared to, to, to get too crazy with it, like go to town. So you should wind up with braids that are very separated, nice and pretty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this section, and what I do with this guy right here is I just kind of grab one section of hair, this braid, and I kind of wrap it around this first. And then I grab this braid and I start wrapping that braid together. Like that. And then I'm going to use a bobby pin to connect those two together. What I do that is I go underneath and I kind of weave in and out and then stick it, stick the pin up there inside the um, brain. All we're going to do now is just take a these guys right here and just pin this inside. And as I finish, look, 